Boy, looks like you're back. Always. Of course. I don't have anything. See my merchant? Show me one. What's the matter? Like you'd give a damn. Go on, tell me. I can always walk away if I'm bored. Really? I guess I don't have much left to lose. My wife, Fidelity, disappeared. She just left to go to the market in Tierville, but she never came back. It's been over two days. I've been to the army and they've been sympathetic, but that's all. They're all too busy running around looking for some renegade. Huh, I see. Are you sure she didn't just leave? What? No. She wouldn't. 
And she wouldn't leave all her things at home like that. Please, either help me or leave. I can't keep on telling this story. Look, I'm pretty busy, so I can't promise you anything, but if I hear anything, and I mean anything, I'll make sure to get word to you. You do that? Thank you. It's far more than I've gotten from the authorities. Here, please, take her picture. I pray you'll find her. I don't know what I'd do without her. I'll be back if I have news. Yes? I have a few quit. You seem to be only thinking about the resistance. Why? It's true. I hope they'll help me understand. To get over my parents, too. And I can't just stand back. I have to do something or I'll go crazy. I understand. Come on, let's go. here need anything heard anything about these strange murders of women in shadow Lair? the serial killer huh not much except he always leaves a signature on their bodies but I don't even know what kind it would seem he drugs his victims though with EBL that's pretty much all I know the guys on the case seem to be stuck or just too busy to actually give a shit about a few dead hookers. Really? Wow, that's amazing. Anyway, thanks for the info. 
You heard about that woman who disappeared two days ago? Her husband gave me a picture of her. Let me see. Hmm, I checked so many people. Nope, don't think I saw her. We do see a lot of beautiful women walking by here, but that's not exactly my business. I don't pay attention to them. Maybe you should ask my security guard here. He's more vigilant than I am. That's part of what he's paid for, after all. Thanks. See you later. Hi. Looks like you work here. You don't miss a trick, do you? I ensure the security of this merchant right here. What do you want? In your job, I imagine you keep an eye on everyone passing by. Know this woman? I see a lot of women passing by. What's so particular with this one, besides a cute face? She's been particularly missing for two days now. Her husband sent me to find her. Husband? Seth. Hmm. Saw her, yeah. The day before yesterday, I think. With a guy. I remember because the way she was walking. She seemed like she drunk too much. He was helping her. They went through that alley behind me. I see. Thanks for the info. See you later.
That's one ugly cut. Did you see her face? Just a quick look. The drool and the red eyes kind of turned me off. The eyes injected with blood, indeed. A significant amount of very thick saliva on the lips, which are otherwise very dehydrated. Oh, I also noticed that her hands were relatively red, especially for a corpse. You know this? All too well, unfortunately. They're the symptoms of EBL, which is also called date rape drug. A lot of it. Do I want to know why it's called that? The powder creates a powerful inhibitor in the frontal lobes. The victim loses awareness of their actions and the consequences. They become somewhat anesthetized, completely relaxed, uninhibited. Uh-huh, and open to every proposal from the first dog in heat to come walking along. Please, this drug is repugnant. And what makes it worse is that it has no odor, no color, and dissolves easily in any liquid. In other words, all someone has to do is pour a little in your drink, and before you know it, you're fucked. My word, I see you understand the principle that's more than enough. You think she died of an overdose? No, I think she was still alive when the killer opened her up. I just hope she wasn't conscious. She must have bled to death. But again, I can't be sure without having properly examined the body. That's already an interesting lead. Thank you. You seem to know a lot on the subject. I'm a nurse. But yes, I know the drug. Better than I wish I did. There's not much more to say. I think that's clear enough. That is. Sorry. So am I. I knew him, you know. At least, I thought I knew him. I feel so stupid now whenever I think about it. Stupid and dirty. But I'm still here at least, not like those poor girls. The monster killing them all has to be stopped, whatever it takes. And I'm sorry, but have his balls cut off. How do you get the drug? Not on every street corner, I hope. From a dealer, of course. Go see my son's dealer. He must know more about it than me. All right. I'll go find the dealer. That poor woman's body is in bad shape.
You again? I didn't sell nothing to any kids, I promise. I hope not. Though that's not really my problem anymore. I came to see you for some information. Okay. I'm listening. Good. So tell me, Serenity. Do you sell EBL? Hmm. Sometimes. Just a warning, though. It's real expensive. And don't go asking for no discount. You ain't exactly a repeat customer. Ouch. You hurt me. Truly. But I'll forgive you if you tell me who you sell it to. Ha! I got a business to run, dude! I ain't ratting about nobody. Especially about those with that much serum to throw around. And you know that your business has a lot better chance of surviving today's depression if you give me what I want. Nobody will know where it comes from, so you can keep exploiting the misery in the neighborhood. Shit, give me a fucking break. All right, but spare me the sob story I gave at the office. Anyway, first off, you can forget about names. I got no idea. They ain't from around here. They only come here to buy because I'm the only one who's got what they want. That's something, for starters. Keep going. All right. So, the first one's quite a weirdo, if you ask me. But hey, he pays good and knows what he wants. The guy only buys EBL. He doesn't talk much, but honestly, I prefer it that way. Other than that, he dresses casually, his brown hair, but most of the time you'll see him wear that stupid hat of his. Okay, and the other? All right. The other guy's got dark hair, kind of serious looking, and always dresses real good. Usually he buys some of everything and makes my day. No money issue, that one either. And if they're not from here, you know where they come from? Well, the thing about customers like that is, less you know, better it is for everybody. Especially if somebody gets caught. The second guy came by a few days ago. Took a bit of everything I had, same as always. I kind of picture him somewhere in a place like Tierville, but that's just an impression I got. I can always go check it out. Thanks for the info. You never have problems with the cop? Ha! The cop! And when a couple of soldiers do come around here... I catch him. You ever have anything? What for? I don't give a shit about... Spec or someone who... In my... DeMarco. So the best... Knowledge. Yeah, you... D Hey, Roy. Lose something? I 
found this coin. Can you tell me anything about it? Apart from the fact it's the work of an amateur, this thing comes from a workshop, that's for sure. But definitely not mine. You're looking for somebody short-sighted with one arm. And if you find him, make sure you break his fingers. Nobody should be allowed to make something this bad. Thanks. I guess I'll go looking for another workshop. Know any others? I don't know everything in the city. There's a guy at the edge of the slums. But he's been in the business so long, I'd be amazed if it was his. I can always go check it out. Thanks for the info. some bad news. What? Please tell me, what did you find? I'm sorry. She's dead. They found her body in an alley near the market. Fidelity. I knew it really. I just needed to hear it. It wasn't like her to just disappear. How did she die? Please tell me she didn't suffer. They drugged her first, EBL, and then killed her. She was unconscious and hopefully didn't feel a thing. She could have even overdosed from the drug. Murdered? Why? We should have moved out of town when we had the chance. It's my fault. I can't believe it. Can't believe she's gone. The only comfort is that she wasn't conscious. And that's not much. I'm so sorry. I can't face seeing her like that now. I need to be alone. I'm leaving. So, back in business? And how? Thanks to you. If I can do anything for you, just let me know. Well, now that you mention it, I found this coin, and I figured someone like you might be able to tell me a bit more about it. Well, you got that right. I made it. Where'd you find it? You make a lot of them? Uh, no, only on order. 
Time to time, I get an order by mail, and I deliver the package to an address they gave me. What's the address? Well, it's in the suburbs, but hang on. I'll look in my register and write down the exact place. But you know, there's no real point going out of your way for that. At worst, the guy will order more coins off of me. That's kind of what I don't want to see happen. Thanks for the address. Later. Want something? I wanted to know if you've ever seen the girl in this picture. Let me see. No, but I wish I had. I would have gladly whispered a few sweet nothings in her lovely ear. Uh huh. Too bad. I'm sure you know more than you're saying. I'm not sure I understand. Pretty simple. This woman was murdered, just like several others before her. And you're my primary suspect. That's ridiculous. I don't even know her. Why would I do any harm to her? And anyway, who the hell do you think you are accusing me like that? Some army officer? A bloody technomancer, maybe? Get lost. Somehow, I was hoping you wouldn't cooperate. This gives me good reason to break every one of your bones until you confess. I've got nothing to confess. Nothing to do with these murders, at least. Nobody's perfect, right? So back off. I'm not gonna spend hours explaining it. I'll just do a good deed and take care of you, the hard way. Yeah, right. And I'm just gonna let you, huh? Come on, shit stirrer. You'll regret talking out of your ass once I've stuffed all the words back in. Looks like someone was already back on the hunt.
Hi, what can I do? Later. the killer. I doubt he'll do it again. The streets are safe now. Thank you, Roy. You're a sweetheart. If you uh, want a little fun, you know. In the meantime, take this. My way of saying thanks for taking care of us. Roy, if you want me to leave you alone for a while. Not a problem, kid. Don't worry. If he wants to see me, he knows where to find me. You're still a virgin, right? I... I... well... What I thought. You got an invitation too, honey. Time you learnt a few things. Later. <laughs>